war with China. The countdown may be on. Military showdown between two nuclear armed superpowers, the United States and China. You are talking about the possibility of Armageddon. Naval power has always been a key indicator of a nation's strength and influence in the world. The stronger a maritime force is, the more influential the country is. This is why the U.S. has the most powerful naval fleet in the world. But with only 243 vessels, they don't have the largest fleet. China's navy is ranked second most powerful. However, they have 422 vessels, and its fleet is nearly double that of the U.S. and growing rapidly. To add to this fleet, they have just revealed the world's largest super ship. So big, it's been described as a floating city. Join us as we discuss the world's largest nuclear super ship. Every year, the World Directory of Modern Military Warships, or WDMMW, publishes a ranking of the naval forces of different countries. The WDMMW ranking uses a formula that considers various factors related to the total fighting power of the world's navies. The formula calculates the True Value Rating, or TVR, which helps compare each navy based on not only their overall size, but also their modernization, logistics, tack and defense capabilities, and other aspects. This way, a Navy is not judged only by how many warships and submarines it has, but also by how good and diverse they are. The formula also takes into account the local shipbuilding abilities, the balance of different types of vessels, and the experience of the Naval personnel. The highest TVR score that a Navy can achieve is 323.9, which is currently held by the United States Navy. The USN has this score because it has a wide wide range of warship and submarine types, as well as a large number of them. The USN also has an advantage over other navies because of its powerful carrier fleet, which can launch and land aircraft at sea. Most of the USN's ships and submarines are made in the US thanks to its huge industrial base. China is the second-ranked navy in the WDMMW ranking, the TVR score of 319.8. However, China is not satisfied with being second, and it is announced that it is building the world's largest and most advanced nuclear-powered supercarrier. This supership, which could carry hundreds of aircraft and electromagnetic weapons, could change the way naval battles are fought and challenge the dominance of the USN in the Indo-Pacific region. But according to the South China Morning Post, Chinese naval authorities are planning a groundbreaking blueprint presented by Rear Admiral Ma Wai-Ming, a renowned expert in naval technologies. Rear Admiral Ma said it will completely overturn the combat formation of naval fleets that have been in place for over a hundred years. This super ship, as he describes it, is set to completely overturn the traditional naval formations and doctrines that have stood for over a century. According to the report, the super ship, which has been compared to a Star Wars-like vessel, could perform the functions of an entire carrier fleet. At the core of this revolutionary design is a state-of-the-art naval combat system equipped equipped with advanced electromagnetic weaponry, including rail guns and laser technology. These sophisticated weapon systems are poised to redefine naval engagement by offering pinpoint accuracy and unparalleled firepower. Another interesting thing is the power source of this super ship. It will reportedly use a nuclear-powered electrical system that not only provides an astonishing level of sustained energy, but also enables the vessel to operate for extended periods without the need for refueling. This breakthrough in energy sustainability has the potential to shift the dynamics of naval operations, allowing for more extended missions and greater reach. A nuclear energy ship is a ship that uses a nuclear reactor to provide heat and electricity for its propulsion and operation. A nuclear reactor is a device that splits atoms of certain elements, such as uranium, to release energy. This energy is used to heat water and turn it into steam. The steam then drives a turbine, which is connected to a propeller or an electric generator. The propeller pushes the ship through the water, while the electric generator powers the ship's systems and equipment. We don't know the exact type of nuclear reactor that will be used for this ship, but some examples are pressurized water reactors, or PWR, boiling water reactors, or BWR, and liquid metal-cooled reactors, or LMR. The most common type is the PWR, which is used by most of the world's navies for their submarines and aircraft carriers. A PWR has two separate loops of water, one that is heated by the reactor and kept under 
under high pressure and another that is converted into steam and used to power the turbine. The two loops are separated by a heat exchanger which prevents the radioactive water from the reactor from mixing with the non-radioactive water from the turbine. Nuclear energy ships have some advantages over conventional ships that use diesel engines or gas turbines. Nuclear energy ships can operate for long periods of time without refueling, which reduces the need for fuel storage and supply. Nuclear energy ships also produce less air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions than fossil fuel ships, which help to protect the environment and mitigate climate change. However, nuclear energy ships also have some challenges and risks, such as the high cost of construction and maintenance, the disposal of radioactive waste, and the potential for accidents or attacks that could cause radiation leaks or explosions. Another interesting thing about China's new super ship is that it will be able to house a diverse array of aircraft, drones, and missiles, making it a formidable force multiplier. Its ability to carry out a wide range of missions from air superiority and reconnaissance to long-range strikes, positions it as a strategic asset with tremendous versatility. In terms of defensive capabilities, the super ship will be designed to withstand attacks from multiple directions thanks to advanced defensive systems and robust armor. Its enhanced survivability ensures that it can operate effectively even in the most hostile environments. The super ship will also have a variety of advanced weapons that will make it a formidable force in naval warfare. The super ship will have rail guns, coil guns, rocket launchers, laser weapons, and high-powered microwaves, which will give it the ability to defend against air attacks, engage in anti-submarine warfare, intercept missiles, and deliver precise strikes on both naval and land targets. The rail guns are electromagnetic cannons that can fire projectiles at very high speeds, up to seven times the speed of sound. These projectiles can hit targets in near space, such as satellites and ballistic missiles, and cause massive Massive damage. The coil guns are similar to rail guns, but use coils instead of rails to accelerate the projectiles. The rocket launchers are devices that can fire rockets, which are self-propelled explosives that can travel long distances and hit moving targets. Laser weapons are devices that can emit beams of intense light that can burn, cut, or blind the enemy. The high-powered microwaves are devices that can emit electromagnetic waves that can disrupt or damage the electronic systems of the enemy. The super ship will also also be able to hold a large number of aircraft, which will increase its air power and mobility. These aircraft will include fighters, bombers, drones, and helicopters, which can perform various missions such as reconnaissance, air combat, ground attack, and transport. The super ship will have a new naval combat system, which will include electromagnetic weapons and a powerful nuclear-powered electrical system. The electromagnetic weapons will include electromagnetic launched missiles, which are missiles that are propelled by by electromagnetic forces instead of chemical propellants. These missiles can be loaded like an automatic rifle, which means that the super ship can fire many missiles in a short time and have a larger missile capacity than conventional ships. Rear Admiral Ma also said, the ship's advanced technology cleverly and effectively transforms the energy from the ship's power source into the electromagnetic energy needed to power high-powered weapons. The super ship will be unlike anything the world has seen before and will completely overturn the traditional naval formation that has been followed for more than a century, according to Rear Admiral Ma Huaiming, who is a leading expert in China's most advanced naval technologies. He has presented a blueprint of the super ship to the Chinese naval authorities along with a computer-generated image of the warship. The super ship is part of China's ambitious naval development program, which aims to challenge the dominance of the United States Navy in the Indo-Pacific region. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.